All right, hello everybody and welcome to another exciting episode on the Planeswalker Walker and today we're looking at spoilers once again and I actually wasn't planning on putting up another video today but Kithian Iorga was just spoiled that's right Gideon Jura was just spoiled and I'm gonna put up the the creature side right here so Kithian hero of Akros I am so hyped for this guy he's so awesome I've I've been waiting for Gideon forever I love Gideon he's my favorite walker period he's awesome and, um, Kithian Hero of Akros. Let's look at this guy and look at how awesome he is. Uh, white weeding aggro, uh, you know, Boros. Oh, we're all going to be having happy times. So for one white mana, Kithian Hero of Akros is a legendary creature, human soldier, 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. So like Elite Vanguard, almost strictly better if he wasn't legendary, obviously. But, uh, <laughs> obviously they weren't just going to make an, uh, strictly better Elite Van Elite Vanguard. Um, because he's already bonkers as a one drop. Um, <laughs> I mean, getting, uh, that early damage is really awesome. And with Kithian down here, it's pretty great. But he has this bonus ability that reads, at the end of combat, if Kithian and at least two other creatures attacked this combat, exile him, then return him to the battlefield transformed under his control, his owner's control. So it's almost battalion. It works amazingly alongside battalion at the very least it's like after combat battalion <laughs> oh so good so good and then he has this bonus ability that on here that says kithian gains indestructible until end of turn for two and a white damn dude like way to save your freaking creature i mean obviously you know spread the sickness stuff like that uh giving your minus minus one on minus one minus one it's gonna kill him but Man, it's going to be hard to do that, and it's going to be easy to trigger him. And he turns into, and we'll put him right here, uh, Gideon Battle Forged, who is also just unbelievably bonkers. Uh, um, I mean, if you consider this as a one mana planeswalker, I don't, I wouldn't do that. I haven't looked at any of the other planeswalkers this way. I've looked at them as creatures and said, How, are they good? Um, almost every creature is good except for Jace because he ju he he just wants to be a planeswalker, which is great. Actually, you know, it's not that you know he's just not good as a creature, but he's great as a planeswalker. Uh, Kithian is being bonkers as a creature. Uh, Chandra is pretty great as a creature. Nissa is okay as a creature. Uh, almost, yeah, I mean, a, a decent Borderland Ranger um, ability. Um, Liliana does some pretty cool stuff. Um, li having Life Link and then um, transforming. She's pretty cheaply costed. It's pretty good. But Gideon, my goodness, I love it. <laughs> I really do. Um, so. Gideon Battleforged. Planeswalker Gideon with three loyalty counters coming in on him. Pretty great. Um, considering we only spent one mana on him and, you know, probably dropped some... I don't know, you could you could easily get, like, uh, some hasty goblins or even hasty soldiers in red or white or, you know... Well, not hasty in white, but you know what I'm saying. But you can get this easily. I mean, it's bonkers i love it and then so we have the plus two which is a uh, kind of a giddy uh, uh, original gideon jura ability of um up to one target creature an opponent controls attacks gideon battleforge during its controller's next turn if able and that's his plus two which is pretty sweet because it puts him up to a five and then one creature is going to attack no matter what you know maybe there's a mana dork across the table and you're like i'm really getting sick of that guy Come attack Gideon. I'm going to block him. <laughs> Stuff like that. Uh, plus one until your next turn. Target creature gains indestructible. Untap that creature. So this could be like... Uh, uh, I mean... Say uh, you attack and then you use Gideon at second main phase at sorcery speed. Because all these are at sorcery speed, obviously. But So second main phase, you use it. And then, you know, uh, use your creature that you already attacked with to block your opponent's creature or something to that effect. Um, really cool ability. Really cool. I love it. Um, and then his zero is classic Gideon. You'll see it on every Gideon. I sure hope at least. 
um, something like it because this one is until end of turn Gideon Battleforge becomes a 4-4 human soldier creature with indestructible that's still a planeswalker prevent all damage that would be dealt to him this turn considering you basically get a 4-4 probably on either turn 3 or turn 4 as l that was originally a 1 drop that you didn't really put anything into that you weren't running anyway like, at least if you're running the right deck. This is obviously supposed to be in a white weenie deck. I mean, you, I could see this in a control deck, even. I mean, the, some of his abilities are kind of control. Um, just absolutely amazing. The, it's it's the Gideon I've always wanted. It's the Gideon that my decks deserve. Um, he is so Boros, even though, he, <laughs> even though he's not. Um, I'm happy about this Gideon. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Um... Obviously, my mana is white, so uh, <laughs> I want the white Plains Walker, and I want him to be good, and I think he's great. Um, I don't know who's the best yet, though. Uh, I mean, we won't see that until Standard is out. So who do you think that the best in Standard is going to be, or at least the best of the Flip Walkers? I th really want it to be Gideon because he's my favorite, but I also don't because I want him cheap so I can buy him. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, remember to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video, and remember to never concede.